I can see the little shyness in her face. And yeah, she's like having none of it. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Lady Sweet Tart and welcome back to the Family Dynamics Challenge. So as you can see, we are here with adorable Blakely, who we just aged up to an infant at the end of the last episode. It is not even quite six in the morning, the day after we last left off. And as you can see, this little girl is already awake. Looks like she is rolling over. Oh, <laughs> and doing that, <laughs> which she seems quite pleased with herself over. But luckily for her, I do believe her mom is up. Oh, she is, and she is right here, ready to take care of her little girl. Well, one thing that I know little Blakely needs, obviously, now is a diaper change. However, it looks like she's quite hungry as well, and oh my goodness. Lila is taking care of that all on her own. I didn't even tell her to do that. That's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and have her change her diaper. Oh my gosh, was that a little bubble? That is adorable. If you'll remember, Lila is off work today. Um, she doesn't actually have work. It says work in two days. But tomorrow in the game is actually Harvest Fest. So she won't have work then either. And one thing that I thought we could do today, uh, since it is Harvest Fest the next day, is I thought we could go ahead and try to get one of those dinner parties that we have to do for the challenge out of the way. That should take care of Blakely for now. Well, she's still hungry. That's interesting. Um, can you do that breastfeeding thing again since it didn't work the first time? Sire, of course, is still sleeping in, as usual. I mean, I can't really judge him. I like to sleep in myself, so I can't really blame him on that. I'm just going to apologize to y'all in advance right now because I know that this episode, I'm going to be spending so much time going, Aw, that's so adorable. Aw. One thing I did want to show you, uh, right after I stopped recording last episode, Blakely did get a milestone, and it said Blakely started moving her little arms to reach for nearby objects. Lila is actually downstairs making breakfast. Sire is about to take a shower, but I guess little Blakely just fell asleep on the mat. Yeah, she did. Lila reached level five of the cooking skill, which is pretty good, I feel like, since we're only on the third episode of this challenge. Somehow they managed to capture that thing where, like, little babies look so angelic when they sleep. Like, they managed to capture that. I'm going to see if we can have these two go ahead and eat their breakfast while little Blakely here takes her to a little morning nap. What I do think uh, that I want to have Lila do, though, is go out and tend to the garden. I don't know how much longer we're going to have to wait for the money tree, but if you look, uh, we only have 430. 55 simoleons so oh here we go this is perfect sell money through 11,555 simoleons like you just can't beat that so I don't believe I mentioned it last time but the money tree actually came with the lot there was actually I want to say about 20 plants on the lot when I added it and the rules don't say anything uh in the challenge about whether you can have the plants already there, or you have to find them. There was nothing in there like that. Um, it just says you have to maintain 10 plants. But I did get rid of all the other plants, except for the money tree. The rest of them, what I did was I just had her purchase some seed packets, and we got the plants from there. And the reason that I decided to go ahead and keep the money tree have her bond with the bees. Uh, the reason why was because I really wanted to be able to have Sawyer be a stay-at-home dad. And I know, especially right now, as Lila is just starting off with her career, they're not going to have much money just from her job. And because of the new Growing Together pack and all the different milestones and different relationship dynamics, I just really thought it would be so much more fun to have a stay-at-home parent so that we can spend a lot more time with the infants especially as well as the toddlers because financially i just don't really see how that would have worked um just on lila's salary like we would have had to send sawyer to work and then we wouldn't be able to spend as much time with little blakely or with any of the other kids they're gonna have i mean yes if you've been on my channel a while you know i don't like to play poor but i really did have a good reason as to why i wanted to use the money tree 
I just didn't feel like it would be as much fun if, like, we had to send the infants and the toddlers to daycare every day. But another thing that I do think that Lila has to do for her career, she has to le reach level two in mixology skills. So um, I probably will have her mix some drinks when we do the Harvest Fest dinner. But I think it also makes sense to get her a mixology book. So hopefully it will go a little bit quicker that way. So I am going to have her go ahead and read that. And it is a much more beautiful day in Granite Falls today. The sun is actually shining. It's not pouring down rain. We can see the beautiful leaves falling from the trees. I mean, you really couldn't ask for a more picturesque place to read your book, Lila. I feel like I'm getting more relaxed just watching her here. Sire, of course, is up on the computer playing games. Today he's playing incredible sports. Oh my goodness, poor little Blakely. She is still sleeping on the floor. But honestly, she seems pretty cozy where she's at. I don't really want to disturb her. Well, I guess Lila must have gotten bored reading that mixology book because I find her now just standing here and the mixology book just thrown on the floor. She wants to go chat with Sire. I don't know about what. What a surprise. It looks like something flirtatious. But Lila, my dear, um, what I do want you to do is come down and practice making drinks. Because reading that mixology book, she's not even at a level two yet. And that's where we need her to be, I believe, for her career promotion. But she's already 75% done with uh, preparing the food and drinks. And with her not going back to work until almost two days from now, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get her there by then. Blakely is awake and in an angry mood, so she really is like her father. Who's actually just over here happily playing with an action figure. But Sire, since your wife is working on something she needs to for work. And your little girl here is highly upset about something. And also now apparently has a dirty diapy. I would really like you to come over and give her a bottle. Because it looks like she is hungry. Oh, this is breaking my heart. Little Blakely. Poor little baby. I guess he has to wait for her to finish throwing a fit before he can give her a bottle. That's kind of silly, Sims. That should put you in a better mood. It literally, like, tugs my heart. Oh, the bubbles again. So come over and change her diaper. Also, I don't know if this is happening to anyone else in their game, but, like, every time my Sims use a bottle, it, like, just sits there on the ground. So, like, I don't know if that's a thing that they've added that they want you to do the extra work, but guess what? It's just going to be done that with. Also, I'm trying to figure out, is there any real advantage to using these little diaper genie things instead of, like, I can't remember what it's called, but, like, the little thingy that recycles things that, the little thingy that recycles things where you get money back for it. Because these, I noticed, you actually have to empty them out. And obviously, we don't get money for them either. But I do want Sire to do a little tummy time with little Blakely here. Because I know a big portion... Oh, great. Diaper on the floor. As I was saying, because I know a big portion of their skills are dependent on tummy time. The infants all have three quirks. It looks like... We only know two of Blakely's, which was the frequently sneezes. It says this infant is always sneezing. Infants with this cork clear their little noses of parts, particles and germs more frequently. It's perfectly normal and healthy. And then her other quirk is the good appetite quirk. It says this infant loves to eat. Infants with this quirk will always accept the opportunity to feed and they'll finish almost any food regardless of how hungry they are. Oh my gosh, she got the lift head milestone. Oh my gosh, Blakely, you are amazing. She looks so proud of herself too. But yeah, what I was going to say is I like the idea that she has a good appetite with her mom being a chef and a foodie. It kind of makes sense. 
and she clearly has her dad's temper. <laughs> clearly. Sire came down to talk to Lila. He's probably telling her all about how Blakely reached her little lifting her head milestone. But it is almost 7 o'clock at night. I am going to have Lila come out and make some dinner. Because we do want her to keep getting that cooking skill up. But she's already at cooking level 5, which I think is really good. Considering we're only on the third episode of the challenge. So maybe make some spaghetti. That sounds kind of yummy. I don't know if anyone else has their sims make food based on what sounds good to them. But I do that all the time. Oh, I guess she was sleepy. But now that Blakely is asleep, I'm going to have Sire give Cookie a little bit of attention. Since Lila is still making dinner. Because I feel like poor little Cookie has kind of been neglected a little bit. Let her feel the love, Sire. Ever since little Blakely came along, I just feel like we probably haven't been giving little Cookie... As much attention as she deserves. But to be honest, that's kind of one of the things that made me want them to get a cat instead of a dog. The cats are so much less needy, even when they're kittens, than the dogs are. So when you have a big family like this, it's so nice that the cats are basically self-sufficient. So I don't think it's because of any of his traits. I think it's because he keeps getting the sentiment with Lila that they're on the same wavelength and it makes him playful. But he ends up in a very playful mood all the time. And it makes me so nervous because I know that's like one step away from hysterical. And I don't want Sire to die. I mean, I like Sire. And if he did die, that would totally mess up our whole plans for this gen of him doing a lot of the child care of the three to four kids that they have to have. Supporting his woman so that she can rise the ranks of her chosen career. We love to see it. I didn't even notice Blakely woke up and Sire is going up to tend to her all on his own. So I did do a Twitter post about it, but Sire is fast becoming one of my favorite Sims, like of all time. Look, he's even giving her a bottle. It's exactly what she needed, and I didn't even have to tell him. But yeah, I just find him so endearing, like how much he loves his wife, how much he loves his little girl, how much he loves little Cookie, even. Oh. Apparently, Lila loves him a lot, too. <laughs> These bubbles get me every time, guys. <laughs> but since Sire spent most of the time, oh my gosh, and our, is it our sink that's broken? Yeah, our sink is broken. Um... Since Sire spent the majority of the time with little Blakely today, I am going to have Lila give Blakely a little bubble bath because it is 1130 at night. Sire, I mean, we're not hard up for money at this point because we have our money tree now that is giving us money. But can you just be a doll and come in and repair this for us? But I do really want to see this bubble bath thing because we haven't seen this yet with Blakely. Hopefully this will put her in a better mood. You know, I have a save off camera that has an infant now, but I never really paid that much a close attention to this bath interaction, but it is actually super adorable. I am loving this. Uh-oh, did something else happen? Oh, it's just the first bath milestone unlocked. First bubble bath milestone unlocked as well. Sire, how you doing on this repair? <laughs> Not very quick. So the parents are getting kind of tired, but little Blakely still has quite a bit of energy. So Lila, I know you want to go to bed, but you don't have work tomorrow. So instead, why don't you spend a little bit of time doing tummy time together with Blakely since her daddy already did earlier. <gasps> she unlocked the coo milestone. It says, ooh, ah, Blakely might not be able to talk, but cooing sounds are a great step in verbal communication. Have her socialize with other sims or a stuffed animal to practice more. You are just unlocking milestones right and left. Oh, hello, boy. Fresh and moisty. Aww, yes. I feel like I'm already neglecting the parents' needs a little bit too. 
<laughs> Since little Blakely came along, Lila really has to go to the bathroom. So, sire, why don't you put little Blakely down for the night? Put Blakely to bed. Because you definitely seem like you're in a little better shape than she is. Yeah, it says she does want to rest, so. I mean, it is almost two in the morning, but again, this is realistic life with an infant. So, Sawyer, why don't you play her a little twinkle, twinkle, little star? And then give her a little kiss goodnight. Soothe her to sleep. Do all those sweet things to help this little baby calm down. Okay, that wasn't working. <laughs> I think Blakely is just overtired. You know how like when babies get like so tired that like they are so fussy and they can't settle down. There we go. That's what I think happened with Blakely. But now that Blakely's asleep, these two might be tired. But they're not too tired to end the day with a little bit of romance. And apparently a little bit of woohoo. For the rest of the kids that they have to have, I don't think I'm ever going to have them specifically try for a baby. But I have my woohoo settings to where like there's a small chance like every time they woohoo. So I'm just going to kind of let it play out and see what happens unless like a lot of time goes by and it just doesn't seem like it's happening for them because it is a requirement of the challenge for them to have three to four kids. So I don't want to let it just go by and not work ever, but I don't know. I just kind of like the realism of like, you know, maybe it will happen. Maybe it won't like we won't know until after the fact. Okay. I don't know if everyone else is getting this. But my Sims are constantly, I mean, like, more than even once a day, like a Sim day, are getting this thing of, like, the game wants them to become cheerful. No, look, it's a great quality and everything. But I kind of designed my Sims with the traits that I wanted them to have. And I don't think it's realistic that anytime any Sim has any kind of personality change, that is always going to be cheerful. Like, I've not seen it come up with any other trait other than cheerful. So, it's the next day. It is actually Harvest Fest in the game. So, what I do want to do is I want Lila to go ahead and throw a dinner party. Because we do have to have her get five gold dinner parties as part of the challenge requirements. You'll also see that I did bring little Blakely downstairs. Because I thought this would also be a really great opportunity for this to be sort of a like meet the baby type of day for the other family members. Ray has an interesting look going on here. Um, but yes, obviously we're only going to be inviting Sire's family members since Lila is currently estranged from hers. I was also thinking we really need friends for Lila and Sire because I feel like realistically they would have already made friends either from when they were in school or just growing up. So what I did want to throw out there for you guys is if you did want to create a friend for Lila or Sire and upload them to the gallery, I am going to put the hashtag in the description, but it's going to be hashtag LS family. Um, you can use CC as long as you're okay with knowing, like, I may not have that CC, and so I might have to use my own. So I don't see Sire's family members yet. It does look like he's trying to go talk to... Oh, no, we missed it. No, no, no. Blakely, please, girl, you cannot be hitting milestones when we're not focused on you. Okay, sweetie? We really need to see those things. Oh my goodness, she is so stinking adorable. Also, I absolutely love this little dress I put on her. I figured it was perfect for it being Harvest Fest. But yeah, little Blakely just got toe in the mouth milestone. Wow, Blakely managed to stick her toe in her mouth. What a cute display of flexibility. I also wanted to let you know, uh, before I started to record today, she did also get another milestone. It was the the grab milestone. So she can now grab as well. Um, but that is the only thing that you really missed so far today. 
Looks like Marshall is out here uh, talking with Lila and Sire while she gets the grand meal prepared. Okay, what are you doing, Sire? Because I did not tell you to help. No, 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 no. You need to stop that right now. Let your wife, who is halfway to being a chef, uh, take care of the cooking stuff. Because I don't want you burning the house down, my boy. So why don't you uh, clean that up and go talk to your brother-in-law? No, 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 no. I would love for Sire to be neat because I think it would make life so much easier in the house. But I just don't think it's him. So we're going to say no to that. But yeah, come on over and talk to your brother-in-law. Can we introduce him to the baby? Yes, you can. I mean, honestly, he probably should have introduced her to his dad first, who I do believe I saw coming in. I was like, wait a minute. Why is Lila jealous? It's because she has the jealous trait. That's it. Also, Sire, are you going to be showing off the baby? Why are you upstairs? Oh, my goodness. My Sims are just an absolute disaster sometimes. But yeah, something that I did want to show all of you is Miranda, Sire's sister, has kind of been keeping a little secret. As you can probably very clearly see, uh, Miranda is pregnant with she and Marshall's first child. And as you can probably also see, she's really about ready to pop. Oh, that's so sweet. A father and daughter moment. Which is kind of exciting because that means little Blakely will have a cousin coming into the world. Aw, first visitor's milestone. Knock, knock. Who's there? Blakely's first visitor. Blakely finally met another Sim outside of her household. I don't know how she's going to take that because uh, Blakely is a cautious infant. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he, Marshall's holding her. He's probably thinking about the baby that he and Miranda are about to have. But it does look like Lila has finished the grand meal, so I'm going to have her call everyone to the grand meal. Um, I do believe little Blakely is getting super tired anyway. I feel kind of bad that she's going to probably fall asleep here on this little rug. Oh, and I should have probably had uh, Lila or Sire set the table um, so they could eat over here in the dining room, but oh well. It's fine. They're just having a very informal Thanksgiving dinner. But Lila, sweetie, I feel like you're being a little bit antisocial here, um, sitting over here all by yourself. Okay, so she got that done, which is great for the holiday, but we also have to make some drinks and socialize with the guests and tell stories. Oh wait, did we already get our gold? That's all it took to get a gold? What? I feel like they must have nerfed dinner parties because when I was doing the Black Widow challenge, I remember having to scramble sometimes to get that gold for that one. And yeah, Blake Lily did fall asleep, so poor little thing. She's reached several milestones today, so she's probably exhausted in her little Harvest Fest outfit here. So it looks like everyone's done eating. So I think, Sire, why don't you be a dear and clean up the dishes so that your wife can continue to work on the goals of the party. Even though we technically already got gold. I do want her to come over and talk to Miranda. I wanted to see if there was some kind of like congratulate on the new baby. I feel like at one time I had some kind of interaction like that, but it could have been a mod that I may have had in the past because I'm not really seeing it anymore. But I did have her, I did select the tell an unbelievable story interaction, partly because the party requirements wanted us to do it, but also I feel like she'd be talking about her birth experience. Like, oh my goodness, Miranda, like this is what you have to get ready for, girl. It really looks like she could be talking about that too, which makes it pretty funny. But I also think someone needs to introduce Blakely to her grandfather. So I'm going to have Lila come over and do that because I believe Sire very badly has to use the bathroom. I feel like at least once per episode, I deprive Sire of being able to go and use the toilet when he really needs to. We'll leave him to that. Um, but yeah, go ahead and show Blakely off to her grandfather. 
Like, here you go, Ray. This is your very first granddaughter. Oh my goodness. That's adorable. I do get the feeling that Ray is someone who very much likes kids, so I imagine he is very excited to be a grandfather. You know, in spite of Ray being a single dad, he did provide Sire with a pretty good upbringing. He has a pretty good relationship with his dad. And oh my goodness, the grandfather is putting his granddaughter to bed. I don't know how much Blakely likes it, though. Um, she is a cautious infant, so this might all be a little bit too much for the poor little deer. But there she is with that foot in her mouth that we missed earlier. But yeah, Ray, that was a really sweet idea and all, but I do believe Blakely's pretty hungry, so we're going to have to feed her before we put her to bed. Looks like Dad is already on his way to check on his little girl. Um... But I do want you, before the party ends, to introduce her to her aunt because she hasn't met her auntie yet. So I'm going to have him bring little Blakely over to meet her aunt and just in time because the party is now over, which I feel like for Blakely is probably best. Okay, so he is bringing Blakely down to be introduced to her aunt. And oh my goodness, she's so adorable. Like, I can see the little shyness in her face. And yeah, she's like having none of it. She's like, you are not my mom. You are not my dad. Please give me back to my dad now. The poor little dear. And poor Miranda's like, oh, wait a minute. This baby hates me. Am I ready for my own baby? Is my own baby going to like me? Aw, looks like daddy's about to take her back, though. And she's like, I should really get going now. Like, this child hates me. Bye. Looks like mom has come down to check on her, too. I'm glad little Blakely is finally getting comforted. I definitely think this was probably a difficult day for her. But hopefully she'll end up growing to have a good relationship with her aunt and uncle and her grandpa. But oh my goodness, poor little Blakely is so exhausted. We really need to put her to bed. It is almost 2 in the morning, and poor little Blakely is finally getting to bed. It's only almost 3 in the morning. But I am happy that we were able to get done what we have today. <laughs> Just as I was getting ready to end the episode, first blowout milestone unlocked. Yuck, it was bound to happen, but Blakely had her first blowout. Hopefully the diaper will hold next time. Okay, so like I know y'all really want to be romantic with each other after this long day. But I feel like we really need to address this blowout. You know what? No, she is so tired. She's sleeping so peacefully. I kind of feel like we don't disturb her just yet. But anyway, um, that is all. I am going to go ahead and end the episode here. You know, like I said before, we definitely got a lot accomplished. Little Blakely reached many milestones. Lila made more progress towards her goals for the family dynamics challenge also don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy it and i'd love it if you drop a comment below letting me know what you thought of the episode and what you think about little blakely and this adorable family because i have to say i'm already so attached to these guys i feel like y'all need to be going to bed not getting dressed <laughs> anyway okay there we go but yeah i do always love hearing what you have to say it honestly makes my day you all are amazing i'll see you later bye